A battleship is awkwardly propped up against the Ferguson Police Department. An area Facebook user is incredibly stupid. And a local mom's bathing suit is just one giant, body-eclipsing ruffle. Appearing only to those who are strong in mind and pure of heart, this is The Onion Week in Review. In a stunning announcement this week sure to have an impact on consumers everywhere, multinational automaker General Motors issued an emergency recall of 600,000 vehicles for faulty car detonators, citing malfunctioning fire pins and short-circuiting switches in a number of their most popular models, company officials were compelled to alert consumers to the issue after a federal investigation revealed the vehicle's plunger explosives were failing to ignite properly, noting that more recent models with remote detonators were not included in the recall and should be functioning according to industry safety standards. The world's leading geneticists gathered at a conference this week to debate the ethics of cloning human beings and compelling them to fight to the death in a rock-filled pit for our amusement. Experts at the conference reportedly discussed questions key to the scientific field, such as the morality of arming hundreds of clones with spiked maces and pitting them against each other on a small platform surrounded by molten lava. While cloning humans and goading them into viciously battling certainly raises ethical questions, it's important that we consider this topic with an open mind. Simply put, whether or not we should be stranding clones on a desert island, assigning them weapons by a lottery system, and making them murder one another tournament style remains a matter up for debate. In a new advertising initiative, Salt Lake City officials unveiled a revamped tourism campaign this week, hoping to lure more visitors by reminding them that they can leave the city at any time. Salt Lake City is an incredible place to visit, pass through, or avoid entirely. Drive on over to Main Street and shop till you drop at City Creek Center. Or keep right on going and take Interstate 80 straight out of Utah. And in this week's local news, a man is wearing a low-cut swimsuit as though a public pool is some kind of sun-kissed Sardinian cove. In other news, China's veteran reporters blast the decline of traditional state-run journalism. A new study finds human hearing is most acute when listening to arguing parents from the top of the stairs, and fireflies almost managed to salvage a local man's shitty day. As Homer's name was carried on through the passing down of his epic tale, so too shall I live on with this internet news summary. For more, keep checking theonion.com.